Oh, God. <laughs> Haley Violet. <clears throat> I'm not sure that even with everything happening right now, that there could ever be a real representation of how much you mean to me. I'm going to attempt to get out a few words to give you an idea. <laughs> there are literally a million and one ways that I will always try to show and devote my love to you. But for the sake of everyone here, and also selfishly wanting to just finalize this, <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it very short and sweet and only list five. I promise that I will always be there to make you smile. Like a 15 year old boy trying to impress the prettiest girl he's ever seen, I'll do whatever it takes to hear you laugh every single day for the rest of our lives. I would like to start off by thanking Linda and Rob for hosting this incredible weekend. I saw firsthand how much hard work and planning went into this. And I know I speak for everyone when I say it has all turned out perfect. It's hard to imagine a better way to celebrate these two very special people. They both deserve it. Haley, you look absolutely stunning. You are beautiful both inside and out. You are incredibly compassionate and kind. You are extremely hardworking and dedicated to everything you decide to do. You are smart and funny, and your smile brightens up the room. You are always honest and never, ever afraid to speak your mind. You are down to earth, all around perfect girl. My David Paul, when I think back on the last 14 years, there isn't a significant memory that doesn't have you in it. <laughs> I've loved you for all 14 of them. From Harriton to Penn State to Michigan, to our brief time apart and the few bumps along the way, to different countries, new cities, and back home to Philadelphia, I can say today that I wouldn't have changed a single thing. Our crazy journey brought us to this very moment, and I'm finally standing in the place I always dreamed I would be, on top of a mountain, marrying my best friend in the world. It was always you. We all know how lucky David is to have you by his side. But I also feel and have always felt extremely fortunate to call you my sister. You take care of my little brother and bring out the best in him. No one else could have gotten him to trade Saturday afternoons at Oscars for hiking, yoga, and salads. He is clearly a better man because of you. Just look how fit he is right now. <laughs> Keep at him, Hale. We wanted to just thank everyone who made this weekend possible. It is absolutely stunning and beautiful, and we couldn't be more honored to stand up here and toast our best friend, Haley and the love of her life team. We are her two oldest friends. Haley has played such an important role in each of our lives. And Haley, we want you and all of your family and friends to know just how much you mean to us. Haley, you are so much more than a best friend. You are truly the sister I never had. For the past 19 years, you have been by my side for those awkward looking years, and there were many. Those growing years, the breakups, the makeups, the engagements, and the marriages. I've always said you're the nicest person I know, and that doesn't even really begin to explain it.
You have a heart of gold. You are fiercely loyal. You are extremely corny and sappy, something that I truly can't relate to but love more than anything. And you and the rest of the Karlsruhe clan have been my second family for as long as I can remember. It's hard to believe that it's already been 14 years since we first met. I can remember the first time David spoke about you. His face lit up, and I immediately could tell you were special. It truly was love at first sight for him. From the moment David saw you, he knew you were the one. I think it took several years of convincing on his end to win your heart, but eventually you decided he was the right one as well. I think deep down you knew all along. I never thought that I'd be standing here 23 years later watching the woman most like a sister to me marry the man of her dreams. Haley, there really aren't words to define the kind of friend you've been to me. There are also no words to describe how happy I am for you and Dave today. We've always been by each other's sides for the good and the bad, the crazy. So here I am as you start the next tantalizing adventure in your life known as marriage. For a while there, Dave, I may have been a little jealous that you were stealing my best friend, but I realize now that as her husband, you are her best friend too. That is a role that I am happy to pass on and share. It is a tremendous honor for me to be up here as the best man. I know David has many worthy friends that would have been more than happy to be up here. Maybe not worthy, but last night we got a chance to see how much love his friends have for him. It's a testament to the kind of guy he is that so many people consider him a best friend. The responsibility of being an older brother is something that I take very seriously. For those of you who don't know me that well, I take most things very seriously. It's not that funny. Since I was only two years old when David was born, every memory of my childhood is, was with him. We all definitely knew. Oh, it's engraved? That's really nice. Legend Thanks, walks guys. Dave McGuire, a legend walks. Very nice. Now let's have a drink. Thank you for uh, being here with me and standing by my side um, today, obviously, but always. Cheers, and let's have a great night. Love you, Dave. Love you, Dave. Love you, Dave. The legend. <laughs> Cheers. We were inseparable. We had bunk beds and shared a room. My mom dressed us exactly the same for years, way longer than she should have. But the point is we did everything together. Haley, my wonderful daughter, sometimes I look at you and think to myself, how did I get so lucky? Your beauty extends far beyond your looks. You are kind and caring. You are one of the most genuine people I know. Many of your friends joke that you are a lot like me. You all laugh, but for me, there is no finer compliment. You are a loyal and compassionate friend and expect and receive the same from others in your life. You have great expectations for yourself and are always pushing the boundaries to get what you want. Let me take a look. Oh, Haley, look at you. Gorgeous. Can you believe it? You look terrific. <laughs> you look wonderful. You need to be very happy. I love it. It's great. Dave, you fit perfectly into our family. Not only do you resemble Jake, your laid-back disposition mirrors the three other men in my life. 
funny how Marissa, Haley, and I do not qualify for that characterization. <laughs> you are patient, kind, and of course, handsome. Tonight marks one of the largest milestones in your life, and it is only fitting that we are yet again by one another's side. Dave, it's been quite a ride. 14 years ago, I pushed Haley to go out with the cute, nice boy from theater, and I couldn't be happier that she did. You have loved her ever since and have never stopped, and I know you never will. Thank you for being the most devoted, selfless, loving boyfriend, fiance, and now husband, and loving my best friend the way that she deserves. I love you both so much and couldn't be happier that you finally got your happily ever after. My dress is thinking over how beautiful that is. Oh, what a gorgeous dress. My hair, I love it. Watching the two of you together over the past five years has been a joy. Your relationship has blossomed and we are certain of your commitment. It is obvious to all who know you that it was meant to be. Haley, you finally got your Marlboro man. <laughs>
I promise to always be your sous chef and on occasion let you cook with as much butter and oil as you want. <laughs> but with that, I promise to never stop nagging you about working out and eating healthy. I promise to be the best wife and mother I possibly can be and to help raise compassionate, good kids. I promise to have fun, be adventurous, and take chances. And I promise to never forget this perfect moment sharing these vows and to never stop telling you that I love you. While it certainly doesn't feel like it, this is really just the beginning for us. I can't wait for all that is to come. First, for our trip to Italy, and then to make a family and a home, to celebrate all life's joys, to explore the world together, hiking, backpack, backpacking, <laughs> drinking wine, and eating our way through, <laughs> to see where our careers take us and what other successes come our way. It's going to be incredible. We really made it, my love. I love you. Your smile and laughter are worth the world to me, and your happiness will always be my top priority. I promise that I will at least be open-minded and attempt whatever new fad diet or workout routine you're into. I can't promise I'll stick to them, but I'm openly pledging in front of all of our friends and family that I'll give them a chance. I promise to be your forever best friend, support system, and partner in everything the future holds for us. Happy and sad alike, you can count on me for anything and know that no matter what life throws at us, I'll be there for you. I promise <laughs> to continue to be too much of a few things. Too generous, too emotional, <laughs> and sometimes too exciting. But only in the best ways and only for our best interests. I know you secretly love the unique ability I have to change the most basic situation and make it into a story we can talk about and someday hopefully laugh about years later. You will never ever be bored again. And lastly, <laughs> Haley Violet, my love, I promise to keep growing and to be the partner you deserve in life. You are the reason for everything good that I do. You are my inspiration, my guidance, and my ultimate motivation to be the person that you somehow already believe me to be. I have no idea how I got so lucky to be here right now, marrying the woman of my dreams, but I promise you that every day from this moment forward, I will do everything in my power to make our future the best it can possibly be. I love you. Hare at. Hare at. Mikudeshet Lee. Mikudeshet Lee. Bitabat Zo. Bitabat Zo. Kadat Moshe. Kadat Moshe. V Yisrael. V Yisrael. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife. In keeping. In keeping. With the heritage. With the heritage. Of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. Hare Ata. Hare Ata. Mikudash Li. Mikudash Li. Betabat Zo. Betabat Zo. Kadat Moshe. Kadat Moshe. The Israel. The Israel. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my husband. As my husband. In keeping. In keeping. With the heritage of. With, uh, of. With the heritage of. Moses and Israel. Moses and Israel. The people in this room are a snapshot of Haley's life. My Haley Bell, her family and friends, her besties. A spectrum of friendships drawn from all the important chapters in her life. The people in this room are Haley's life. Just the fact that you're all here tonight to celebrate with us speaks volumes for the ties that bind us. The day you were born, Haley, was one of the best days of my life, although you were yellow and had spiky hair. <laughs> I felt privileged to be the father of such a beautiful baby girl. It was a birthday gift for me, unmatched in this world. 
over the years that have gone by too quickly, you grew up, and I'm proud and in awe of the woman who you are. Haley and David, you are two amazing kids and one special couple. So tonight, surrounded by your family and friends, you two begin a new and wonderful journey together. Your mom and I wish for you great health, long life, a lifetime of happiness, love, and great laughs. Lahayim, cheers. We come from this big, very loud, amazing family, and David is the star. He is the one that holds us all together. He's always been there for my three beautiful sister, and is an amazing son to our parents. I admire him and am impressed by him more and more each day. I will always be there for you. I will always have your back, and I always continue to look to protect you. I now want to ask that we all raise a glass and toast David and Haley. We wish the perfect couple nothing but happiness in their life together. I love you. May God bless you and keep you both. May he protect you. May his countenance shine upon you. May you find God's presence all along the journey of your life together. May it bring you contentment, wholeness, and peace. And together we all say, Amen. Whatever. You got it. <laughs> awesome. Mikey, yeah. I don't know if David told everybody, but all the grooms men, it's a $50 entrance for you to be here. <laughs> Oh, just video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>